plaintiff, Jamisha Harley, was friends with the defendant, but she says the defendant is in a gang and is constantly fighting. Jamisha claims after the defendant and her boyfriend damaged her apartment, the defendant threatened to harm her and her baby, so she's suing. Defendant Fatima Bigham says she was never in a gang and she never lived with Jamisha, and she insists she and Jamisha were threatening each other. Fatima claims she has video of herself and Jamisha in a physical fight, and she's countersuing for a damaged mattress and emotional distress. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. I met her when I was working at Burger King and we became friends and everything. And then when we became friends, I noticed stuff about her and I tried to distance myself. Like she into gang violence, drugs, and she just always be with drama, fighting. Well, she didn't and have to work, gang steal and rob and. Sell dope. No, right? like she's part of the gang, but she huh? always work at a Burger King and stuff she like that. She wasn't part of the gang. She was. Well, she didn't need to work. <laughs> All right, that's just a little conflict in your testimony. Okay. Unless she didn't do well in the gang. <laughs> 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 you, you didn't get paid out the gang? Negative. All right, then. Okay, go ahead. Yes, and I noticed she always like she she. Maybe had, she was fronting. You thought she was in the gang. She might have been a she wannabe. She told me she was. That's what I'm saying. She yeah. might she might have been a one. You ever see her in action? Well, she had guns and she had okay. up her hood sign. Oh, okay. And uh, you saw her with a gun? Uh, she showed me a picture. Okay, go ahead. Um, so you start distancing yourself? Yes, sir. But mm -hmm. we still like had communication with each other, but we didn't mm -hmm. spend that much of time with each other. And then October came, I got me an apartment. And then she had her boyfriend here. And they had no way to go. And she asked, can they move in? And I was like, sure. Then probably not even a when week. When was this? What month and year? October 2015. OK. And probably like a week later, I had a whole bunch of commotion. They was fighting and everything. And she was throwing hot water on him. She threw my, she threw the hammer at him also. And it was outside. She pretty much was running behind him. Wasn't grits. Huh. No. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. And then after that, they when, kept fighting after the hot water, didn't they? That didn't work. <laughs> he was running like he was okay. like he tried to get away from her, and she kept following him. And then they both got arrested. Well, she got arrested. And she spent a weekend in jail. Let me hear from her, and then we'll get back to the damages, ma'am. Give me some background on your friendship and uh, are you a gangbanger or were you a gangbanger? And... Negative, never been a gangbanger, but your honor, what she said, that's negative also. I'm gonna give you a little check of our background. Me and her, we was real close. Like, we spent time with each other every day. She did not distance herself from me. She was always at my house every day. I was always at her house every day. So my boyfriend, he came down from Atlanta, Georgia. We went, picked him up from the bus site. So she asked us, do we want to come over to her house? I said, sure, let's go over there. That's not So true. then we Quiet, went over man. there and we was, you know, cooling, chilling or whatever. You didn't move in? No, I did not move in with her. Where did he I, stay? He stays in Atlanta, Georgia. No, I when stayed. he came on the bus, where did he stay overnight? He stayed with me. Cause okay, we had, we you had, have your we own had, apartment. Yeah, we had our own apartment. Did he she? was supposed to be coming down here. It was to an stay apartment with that us. was in my name. And but then it got kicked out because she couldn't afford the rent. Before he came to town? Yeah, she had it for like two days before he came. And then after that, it was like, you pay. It's like a motel pretty she much. She had it two days before he came to yes, town. Yes, and then after no, a I week, you had to pay $150 day. every week. Uh -huh. And she didn't pay it. All right. So they kick her out. OK. You were never removed from the apartment or evicted? I left the apartment myself. Where'd you go then? I went back to my grandmother's house. OK. And he, and he went, went there with He you? went back to Atlanta. He went back to Atlanta. Got it. After how long? After a good little month or so. Did he ever stay with your grandmother? No, never stayed with my grandmother. So you all stayed in that apartment for a yes. month? Yes, yes. All right. Tell me about the fight. OK, the fight. She's saying that me and him got into a fight. We never got into a fight. Them two got into an altercation in her apartment. They had an altercation or whatever. And he was mad, whatever she said to him, because I walked out the door. I was outside. So when I Why? came back in, they... Why'd you go out? I had already went out before they even... Got it. Got right. into it. I was already out the door. All right. You went out there to make sure that any gangbangers tried. 
a drive-by. You are out there to make sure any drive-bys come. You ready? All right. No. You didn't want the house shot up. Good so enough. I was outside. So inside, they started fighting, you say? Yes. They Did was... she have the hot water? No. Grits? Uh, no, it, none of that was even... Involved. I have I neighbors. I have no. That. You had what? Neighbors, cause he, one of my neighbors had to take the boy and drive him off somewhere. Are we talking about the same incident? <laughs> <laughs> it was like in the same day, cause at first it was like, oh. No, no. You say the two of them were fighting. Yeah. Hold on. If I was fighting him, why I, she got I'm arrested? I'm just asking you, is that what you're saying? Yeah. No, what I'm saying is both of them was fighting. Both of them That's got arrested. That's what I'm asking you. Were oh. she and her boyfriend fighting? Oh yes. Okay, and when did they damage your property? When they were fighting? Yeah, so like in my baby room was a big hole that he pushed her body into, and then that's when I broke them up, and she went into the closet, and he pushed her head into the wall. Okay, and, and he left do you her. know what happened to her walls? All I know, he told me and my witness, we was all talking. After all that had happened, uh -huh. we was all talking. He was like, I put holes in her walls. Okay, good enough. Now, anyone have any evidence about uh, that, or did you discuss it with her later? I tried to talk to her, woman to woman. She did you, talk to did me. your boyfriend agree to pay her? No, he didn't agree. Because she, those holes was Did her you wall agree to pay on his behalf since August. that was your boyfriend? No. That was the last year of August. That was the last year I got proof that she said I would pay it to the rent office. Oh, let's see. She <laughs> said she has something that shows you agreed to pay. Thank you. I hear a whole bunch of commotion. They were fighting and everything. And she was throwing hot water on him. She threw my, she threw the hammer at him also. And it was outside. She pretty much was running behind him. Wasn't grit. No. <laughs> Plaintiff Jamisha Harley is suing her former friend, who claims she has video of her and Fatima physically fighting. Those hoes cost a hundred dollars a piece. This is you. And where do I pay at? Cause you know, cause you're not finna give you the money and you don't get it fixed. You tell her to the rental office. It's 200 altogether. Where the rent office at? <laughs> Be what you mad about. This is her again, allegedly. And she called and told me. This is getting some kiddie stuff. But the main thing is that I see, ma'am, you uh, agreeing to pay, asking what a rental office is, unlike what you said. So now I don't believe anything you've said thus far. I believe everything she said. Now, what about the emotional distress you're suing she's for? She's right here threatening me and my child that she's causing harm. She when? Like, it's right here all in the text after everything happened. When? What like month? Like in December. Same month? Okay. Yes. December? Yes, sir. All right, December. That's one well, tell me how she left. You put them out, they yes, moved. Yes, sir, I intense. told them, you can't be here. And then after she came from jail, her grandfather came after and got her After she stuff. what? Came from the jail. And so you told her you have to leave, the two of them. Yes, and her grandfather came with her and get her stuff out the house. Uh -huh. And his stuff, I threw it in the trash. Why? Because he was, nobody knew where he was at. Because he wasn't, he, she said he ain't been you in the jail. You thought he had abandoned it? Pretty much. And did he, he only ever came come with... back and ask for it? No, sir. Okay, well, he did abandon it. All right, and what is the emotional distress? What occurred after that? She kept threatening me and my child, like, in a harmful way. Like, okay. I'm going to burn your house down. I'm right... She just causing harm, did and his you... message is right here. Oh, let's see it. All right, that's your emotional distress, threatening to burn your house down. <laughs> Ma'am, did you do this? Yes, I did. I threatened her. I did, because we threatened each other. <laughs> Who made the first threat? She you did. threatened her as well? Yes, but you have evidence she of the threats? I have all my evidence of what she this said. This is her. Get it, H. You got the ball. B, I'm loaded. So you are standing here with a gun. What city you all from? Savannah. Savannah ain't even a tough town. You all trying to play tough. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, you, you're gonna get caught in the wrong place pulling that gun out. What happened? I took the day we were all at your house. You told Jan that I was mad at you. Remember this: it's gonna be at your door. I'm headed there now. Me, I'm gonna kill that baby. How old is your baby? She's two years old. She and was one at the time. You know, you now be might be mine. <laughs> You need to be spending your time in, you need to be spending your time in school. 
And this is your evidence of her threats. Be careful who you vent to. A listening ear can also be a running mouth. <laughs> the messiest females have the most friends. It seems like you've done well in school. <laughs> they run in clicks. Half of, half of them don't really like each other. They talk about each other, yet they are besties. Yeah, see that? You don't need to be involved with this mess. You sound like you have uh, studied in school. <laughs> and here you involved with somebody who can't spell. <laughs> or use proper grammar. You know, sometimes I mess a little grammar up, but this is a this is an abomination. <laughs> B don't ever play with blow up 12 main house. Oh, I, I kill your grandma. All right, you threatening to kill her grandmother. She threatening to <laughs> kill your baby. What do we have here we want to see? Be I a have video. a video of us fighting, but if my boyfriend were not took the part out where I was running for her, trying to avoid the fight. But That's a story, it's, so that was a fight. Oh, so we see you fighting. Yes. All right, not your boyfriend, but you. Yes. Let's see it. <laughs> I don't know who started that. You're going to say she did. She's going to say you did. Plaintiff Jamisha Harley is suing her former friend, who claims she has video of her and Fatima physically fighting. How does she owe you for a mattress and emotional distress? I know the emotional distress is the fight and the threat to kill you. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> How does she owe you for the mattress, man? Because she damaged my mattresses. She Tell me, I... explain to you. Explain to me. She she was mad or whatever she was mad about. She took her anger out on me, which is she's supposed to be taking it out on my boyfriend. But she took all her anger out on me because she just assumed that I put those holes in her wall, which is I But I have her stating that Where he, was your mattress at? It was at her house. Okay. I bought it for her baby, actually. That's Because she asked oh, me okay. to buy right. a you mattress buy it for her baby. For her okay, baby. well, then so, that wasn't yours. It was a gift, all right? So you get nothing. <laughs> You get zero. <laughs> zero, zero, zero. But a thank you. Did you tell her thank you? <laughs> <laughs> tell her thank you. Thank you. There you go. All right, your property damage is granted. She agreed to pay for it. I saw that. 275 is your judgment. And your claim for emotional distress is dismissed. You all threaten to kill each other and kill the whole family but and I kill have, your baby and kill your grandma. I have proof, nothing though, but but mess. What do you have? I have proof that he stated he put those holes in the wall. I know, but I have proof that it's you agreed to pay to... for it. Oh. Oh, yeah. School. <laughs> <laughs> have a good day. Judge it for the plaintiff. Yours is just me. <laughs> it's going to continue to be ended. Yes. Distant, like we doing now. Because I don't need to be around that kind of negative. And I'm a mother, so I don't need to be around that. 